hi everyone and welcome to our new video today we're going to show you how to fix uh, this error uh, I upgraded my Ubuntu I got a message that you should upgrade and I upgraded once I left I left it upgrading then I went when I come back I'm trying to put in the password doesn't want what I did I reboot the system when I reboot the system then I get this error so when you see this screen what you got to do is you press Control alt F3 control alt plus F what F3 so we will press that it's gonna give you a chance to log in start okay you can see there if you can see nicely the screen changed and I want to make it easier for you to see the screen has changed see what it tells me now it tells me to log in so by logging in I'm gonna put in the username here and then I say enter then I put in the password when I put in the password yes we logged in so then I'm gonna say sudo um, space then you say do which is do then dash then you say release dash upgrade re release dash upgrade in the comment box below i'm gonna leave these commands you can see how it says what it says sudo i think this screen is better you can see what i said sudo release upgrade then you hit enter let me ask you for the password again you put in the password okay. hit enter after enter i think the password was wrong right i'm gonna put it again okay Again, I'm putting in the password so wrong I don't know why uh, and there's no way to be sure that is I've got some caps locks let me try to find it mm -hmm. okay it's checking now after putting in the password so well you can see now it's what it's doing it's a checking for a new Ubuntu release see I'm gonna give it time sometimes it takes time look what it says he said checking for Ubuntu release failed to continue to that. Okay. Then say there is no development version of an LTS. You get me. Set prompt in etc. What what what? Okay. Okay, if that does not work for you, but some people it works for them. We can say what can we say? We can say we can try this command. It's gonna be apt. We're gonna use sudo again. Sudo. Did we use sudo in that last? Yes, we did. We say sudo. Then we say space. No, yeah. Apt get space. Then we say upgrade and up up apt update we start with update then upgrade apt upgrade space then we say and apt dash up apt 
interface get yeah then we say upgrade but the first command sometimes it works you get me it depends for what's what's the issue you can see this is the second command opt get uh, update upgrade and upgrade oh i made upgrade upgrade just will be update upgrade then update update no update then we upgrade we upgrade we upgrade we up grade then we update no we update then we upgrade so gonna say I'm gonna start with oh, this give you give me some trouble okay we say up date after updating and apt get upgrade yes it's gonna ask us for the password we say enter sudo apt get oh okay let me recall the command i'm supposed to put t here get oh i'm sorry get here yeah. Okay, then we say okay let's try to see now it's moving what next let's send it said done okay could not open it shows us another thing could not open whatever let's try to reading packages finished could not open this let me say let me just say update uh, sudo apt get update try to update okay it says done here the second screen okay undefined symbol system whatever it seems it's getting a problem but anyway i'm gonna switch off the computer I'll switch on back if i see the same problem then there's another way we, to try okay you got to be patient but most things on ubuntu good thing is like with linux they can be fixed by command okay The first command, if it worked, you reboot your PC. Then you see the results. The second command, also, if it worked, you reboot your PC. That's the way you're gonna see the results. See what's gonna happen. Let's wait. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Oh, 
we still see the same problem. Let's try something else. This is another command I'm going to use. I'll show you what, how to reach here. Uh, how to reach here, you just press Control Alt F3. So to reach, to give you the login details, you say Control Alt F3. Same, you don't, you don't leave, you don't release them. Them, all of them at one time. One time, then, yeah. Let me say Enter. We see what's gonna happen. It asks me for the password. I'm gonna put the password. Okay, after putting the password, you saw the command I used here. It's the third command. Two commands failed. I'm using the third one now. You can see third one. Let's see. You're gonna get this question. It's gonna ask you, um, like the default action is to keep your current version. Okay, I will say yes, which is a Y. Say yes, then I say enter. Okay. It's done. So what we're we gonna do now? We're gonna try to reboot. Reboot. So enter. The system is rebooting. Let's see what's gonna happen. Guys, we won. So which means the last command is the one which worked for me. So I'm going to put all the commands in the comment box below so that everybody gets what to use one by one. I also explain. So whatever command you use, try to reboot your PC. You will see what will happen. This one worked well. And you can say just click here. Then I put in the password. Um, thank God everything worked well. So I'm here. Wow, everything is fine. Yeah, so we're going to check one thing. Uh, one thing I want us to check is did we, did it fix stuff only or it left the new upgrades? Let's see. 
or it rolled down or out. Setting. Okay. After we go to about. want to see the release the software we have here seven whatever yes we got the right what the right upgrade you see the upgrades are fine you can see now it's 22.04 right thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video